Na 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 blue tick, blue tick. This is the Savivi blue tick, and I'm Edgy Blades. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> I've been waiting to see this one for quite a while. Haven't seen many videos on it other than like uh, other channels, like having like a few other knives included with it. But here it is, the Savivi blue tick, and. When I was watching the Blade Show out of Texas videos from other channels that I like to watch, this is the one that really caught my eye. And it's got to be because of that crazy extra deep jimping on there. And, uh, but I got to say with the Civivi Blue Tick here, what I'm really finding is pretty awesome about it is that it's just so slender. And it's got such a great thin hollow grind blade on there that it's very reminiscent of a one of the older model Civivis that I had, which was the Shredder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, the Shredder had that really mean, thin, slicey blade. And these actually are very, very, very similar in size, yet... As you can see, the handle on this is exceptionally thinner uh, in width, sir. So, so, I mean, aside from that, this is a pretty cool knife. And for the price point, the Civivi is coming out with these. Oh, yeah, this is 14C28N. So that's awesome. It's a very, very great steel, a very big favorite of mine and many others. So, you're getting a 14C28 and steel, Sanvik steel here, from Civivi. It's got the 58 to 60 HRC for the hardness on it, which is decent. And I'm telling you, it's crazy because this knife, right now, you can get from White Mountain Knives, at least I know, for like 55 bucks. So, come on. It's a pretty good size knife too. It is uh, 8.17 inches or 207.5 millimeters. You got a closed length handle, which is a really cool one, I gotta say, of 4.7 inches. So it's almost five inch handle. And that's 119.3 millimeters for if you uh, prefer that type of measurement. The blade itself, 3.47 inches. So almost a three and a half inch blade. <laughs> and it's a thin one too. It's at 0 0.12 inches. Again, there's that awesome jimping on it. And it comes down to a needle point tip. You can see the edge is just... It's, it is so slicey. Beautiful satin finish on this one. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, that is a 0.12 inch or 3 millimeters of a thickness blade. The weight on this is what's also pretty wild. For such a good sized knife that you're getting here, it's only 3.34 ounces. So, that's pretty impressive. And you definitely feel that difference when you get it in your hand. So, that's 94.7 grams. And again, the, uh, the handle is 4.7 inches, which is, uh, it's got a thickness, which is also a great thing, of only 0 0.47 inches or 12 millimeters. It's got a nice G10 backspacer there. It's kind of got that kind of raised and as you can see, kind of a point there. So I don't know what's up with that, why it's not flat, but it's not providing any hot spots in the hand. Um, the whole thing is very comfortable, even with it like a tight fist grip. I'm not feeling that pocket clip at all, which is a nice one. It's an ambidextrous carry knife, so you can switch it over to the other side. You do have these wonderful T8 screws here, so that's always cool. And yeah, you got the recessed screws. That are going in there. So, as Bees Blades says, no mushrooms growing in the shade. You don't see that there. Nested liners. 
So that is also a big plus. Very nice jimping, which you have plenty of wonderful access to. Because, <laughs> you know, there's so many knives that nowadays it seems like I'm seeing commonly that they're just, it's flat across and you have to dig in there. But this is pretty nice. It's, and it's got the uh, milling there for the handle. So you get that, you got plenty of access there to get it there or around the other side, which is always the way I prefer to do it. Give it a nice little shake. There is a ceramic ball bearing action on this, like most of Evie's. And yeah, this one's a home run. It's designed by Brian, Montal uh, Brian Montalvo. And he did a great job with this one, man. I am digging it. Got plenty of nice ramped up jimping on this one, which is really uh, pretty sharp. It's got a strong detent, so you really got to give it a good push, but it flies right out after you do. And yeah, this one is super, super nice. It'd be a hell of a knife to, you know, do some piercing and slashing with. And, and it is such a thin knife for that blade and sharp. Let's see. If that gives you an idea of what you're working with here. Yeah. Super duper slicey. And not a problem to do any piercing with either. I mean, it's just... It is a slicer. Now, again... I guess many people think that when they think of this knife will be that jimping, but honestly, what's really selling me on it mostly is just how thin that handle is, like in the width, and you know the thickness of its uh, of the grip that you're getting on it. Thumb just rests nicely on that, and this isn't it. It might be, if you really cinch down on it and press down for, like, doing a power slice on it, it might be a little uncomfortable for you, but I'm not, I'm not experiencing that, really. I'm, I'm just really just, I've been locking my, the tip of my thumb right there into, like, maybe the first divot and doing a nice push. It almost appears like there might be a very very micro kind of recurve in that blade but whew, what a blade Sl I am loving the hollow ground blade on this and the satin finish now as you can see from the picture on the video I'm thinking like I've never heard of a blue tick I'm thinking a bug that might have a spiny back or something <laughs> And uh, that shows how uncultured I am. So, at least what I found is that the blue tick is a raccoon hunting dog, and it's a it's got a friendly personality from what I've read. Beautiful dog. So, this one here, and from what I'd seen, maybe it's because it has that kind of swooping, like belly to it on the handle here. Maybe that's what it is kind of resembling from what I've seen of the blue tick hound. So there you go. There's that. And as a size comparison, I guess it's relatively fitting that I show it compared to the Vostede Raccoon. So it is, as you can see, a decent sized knife. I mean, it's just long and slender, but super slicey and pointy. This baby is just going to go through whatever and I'm sure with a little bit of stropping and so forth, you just bring it right back to the razor that it is. It's a pretty cool darn knife, I gotta say. I'm glad I got it. You cannot go wrong with the price point of this knife. <laughs> Again, this one here is 55 bucks. If you choose to get it from White Mountain Knives and use my code of NCN, um, you get the 10% off of that, which is $49.50. Can't beat that, so. Now this does come in other different variations. You can get this with a, uh, what is it, 
Goy Borsha wood and maybe like a black stonewashed Damascus 14C blade. That is a little more pricey naturally. It's for uh, 80 75 on White Mountain. Uh, you can get this with the Burgundy G10 with a black stone wash finish. That's uh, 55 bucks. You also have the green canvas micarta version with the black stone wash finish. And that is $56.95. But this is, as far as I'm seeing, the only variation that actually has this beautiful satin finish uh, with the black G10. And it's a nice G10. It's got a nice, you know, I would say an adequate grippiness to it. Nothing too over aggressive, but it, is, it just feels great in the hand because as you can see, your first digit just goes in there so nicely. The other three can follow through and even if you don't even choose to use that uh, super jimping there, even with just a straight grip, you're just like going right through. And you know, if what's also cool about Savivis is if you're not liking their clip, which I don't mind them, but you do have an option of like, like getting their titanium clip to replace it for, I don't know, probably less than 10 bucks on Amazon or something like that. And put it on there if you want. If you choose, I don't even bother in most cases, but I'm really liking this. And yeah, I can see the recurve in it now, come to think of it. And I was, uh, I do a little bit of bartending, bartending on the side. So I last night was working when I just got this in the mail, had to slice up some limes and lemons. And <laughs> this really did the number on that. It was just such a joy to do that with and being 14C, 28N. Don't have to worry about the corrosion with it. Of course, I did rinse it off and, and dry it afterward, but it was really quite nice to slice through that fruit with with this knife because it's just so thin and slicey. I mean, look at that. It's a beauty. I'm really liking it. Hope you do too. I mean, uh, let's see. What more to say about it? You got the uh, really nice... I would say that's maybe a 30% eh, lockup on it, which is decent. Let's see how it is. It, it's not drop shutty, but that's okay. I mean, it's still smooth. And man, it just flies out with authority. Reverse grip. Also extremely comfortable. It just really nice work there, Brian. <laughs> this is a nice one. I'm digging it. So there you go. There's that. Um, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I'll let you get a look at this here. It's got the nice milling inside there. Again, only 3.34 ounces. And it's a pretty decent sized knife. Feels incredible in the pocket because it is so slender. But it is a slicing machine, as you've seen. It is super pointy, so you can use this as EDC, or you know, you can use this, of course, if you need. God forbid, you uh, could use this as a, one heck of a defensive option, and uh, it's really nice. And let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, let's see how it is centered. Yep, perfect though. It's a great one. Nice work there, Brian Montalvo. Digging it. Hope to see more from you there, buddy. And yeah, you're not feeling any blade in there. It's got, you're right there at the, nothing's poking on the end. Everything is nice and slender, awesome. Great little knife. Well, it's not even little, but it's a great knife. Hope you dig the uh, review and you're welcome to stop on by and see more. If you would please like, comment, and subscribe, it's much appreciated. And then you know what? Why not? Hey, let me know what you uh, think of this one here. Maybe even what you might be carrying or what you might be wanting to get uh, for yourself. And uh, you're welcome to stop on by anytime. It's much appreciated. Again, use the code if you want. 
I'm sure you can find this in other places. They did just drop recently. And uh, yeah, these are currently available at White Mountain Knives. So give it a look. I will see you guys later. Take care. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you soon.